Hey everybody, welcome to my video on a Let's Cheat on the new Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game. I mean, it's new right now, it's like December, January 19th at this point, so I mean, it's only been out for about three days. So, if you haven't played it yet, it's, um, eh, it's okay, it's not great. But the, the bad part about it is the grindiness, like, the amount of grinding required is pretty yuck so if you don't want to do all the grinding i'm going to show you how to get past all the grinding <laughs> and uh, that basically involves uh boosting up your level in a very rapid manner so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on uh basically adjusting our experience level or the experience necessary to level and you'll notice that all you really have here is a uh, is a next option when you look at your character uh, stats, which is, you know, not really something you can edit. Um, that number, if you find that number, it's really only going to be a display that you're changing. You're not actually going to be changing anything of value uh, because that number is just basically calculated by looking at what how much experience you have based on what is required to get to the next level. So what you need to find is how much experience you have in total. So to do that, you got to do an unknown value search. And it actually is not that complicated for this particular one. So what we'll do first thing is hit uh, our process list window or process chooser, whatever we want to call it. I can't remember what the hell the exact name for it is. Open process button, that one. And choose win 64 shipping or whatever you have. That's Dragon Ball really. I don't, I'm not sure why it's 64 shipping. I don't understand why that's the process, but whatever. Uh, next thing, go to unknown initial value and leave it at four bytes and do first scan. All right, so this is um, a good example of a good way to essentially find the thing you're looking for without knowing what the starting value is. I, I haven't actually shown that, so this is a good chance to show something new. What you need to do which, by the way, this is Namek. If you have not gotten this far, you know, I think everybody understands what the plot in freaking Dragon Ball Z is at this point. But anyway, the goal here is pretty much to figure out we gotta fight something. Alright, so we're gonna fight. Alright. Vegeta's strong enough that you can just annihilate stuff. So I gained 618 experience. So. Uh, what we want to do is come back into our cheat engine process and we want to do an increased value by the amount of experience that we gain. So 618. Boom. All right. So not a whole lot of different uh, options here. One thing we can do real quick to get rid of some of these random things is do unchanged value several times here. And there we go. So we've got a few different options here. Any of these could be it. It's kind of hard to tell at this point. But we'll need to do one more fight to kind of be sure that we've got the value that we need. So we've got to go and do find one more thing to fight. Now, if you aren't familiar with this, this isn't how every battle goes. If you're a high enough experience above the thing that you're trying to fight, it's kind of like Earthbound in that it'll uh, you'll just automatically win if you dash into them. You have to dash into them, which is freaking annoying at any rate uh, so what we'll do is another increased by 618 and boom here we go here's a value uh, that was a pretty quick <laughs> pretty quick find now you do have to do this for every single character um, but you know pointers do a pointer scan you'll be able to you know find that value permanently anyway or if you're just trying to like you know boost all your characters who really cares so to make sure this works, I'm going to jump this to, we'll say 600,000. And then we'll go back in and we'll take a look at our experience. And it should say zero for next. Yep. So that indicates that we have in fact found the correct value. And all we have to do at this point is go and hit something else. And now I will have gained a level. Boom. Reached level 24. And that's, and that's basically it. There's not much else to it. Some of these values do get kind of ridiculous. So I set this to say 1 million. 1 million experience. 
So I'll set it to, to a 1 million, come back, see it's zero again. You don't have to come back and see the uh, see that it says zero. I'm just doing that to demonstrate. But there we go. So it's 1 million again. Three levels. Yay. Now I'm even stronger. All right. It doesn't even gain much battle power. So this is kind of like one of those things where, you know, BP, that power level thing, it's, it means absolutely nothing. If you know anything about Dragon Ball Z, yeah, that means nothing. So there you go. Anyway, that's one thing you can look at. The rest of these values, we'll say like, for example, the chi there, or key, whatever you want to say. Just to give you an example here. Whoops, that is not what I wanted to open. Anyway, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I'm a professional. All right, so uh, if you wanted to say increase the chi, uh, you can just do actually an, an exact value search for that. So in my case, that would be I'm um, moving windows around. Everything's fine. Uh, oops. Yep, move that. Yep, professional. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a just cosmic professional. All right, so I'm gonna try to search for 211, and then we'll go back into the game real quick. And just kind of wait and then let the chi key whatever go back to its maximum, which is 223. And then I'll search for 223. As you can see, it is now 223, and I found a value. There's one value. Yeehaw. So we can add that and we can now freeze it. Back freeze. <laughs> And there you go. Chi doesn't really go down. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna fluctuate a little bit, but for the most part, it doesn't go down. Finding values in this game, the only one that I found to be kind of tricky is uh, the experience because of you know it being ridiculous. But um, let's see if I go into like a regular battle here and see if uh, if it works inside the battle. I don't know. I haven't tried it. So let's do consecutive whatever blast. It looks like, yes, it does in fact uh, work the same. Well, maybe not. Well, I think it does. Did it? I don't, I don't know. Looks like it. Looks like it. So it's not going to be, you know, if you wanted to make it so that your number doesn't go down at all, you'll have to do a opcode to increase your, or to, you know, knock out any of the uh, parts where you know, the, to map out the code that actually reduces your your chi. So, for example, let me find one more thing to fight. So, what I could do instead of, oh, there we go, hold on. Uh, to do that, yeah. Everything's dead. <laughs> okay. So, what I could do here, let me just pull up my windows. Uh, what you could do is you could right-click this particular thing and you can go to disassemble's memory region and I have to add in a window capture here um, You know, what? I'll just do this. I'll just do a display capture real quick Oop. And okay, that's gonna be super cool for you guys that have no idea what's going on uh, Yeah, good good Okay, so <laughs> this is gonna look real weird all right, so this right here, this particular thing, is where the opcode is for you know removing and adding or removing whatever the heck. <sighs> this is gonna get it's gonna get a little bit tricky. So just try to try to stay with me here. So what we'll want to do is find out what writes to this address. Attach debugger, yes. Okay, stop because a bunch of things have happened. And we want to show, well, okay, what we can do is basically do that, hit replace this code with code that does nothing. Yep, did that. And now when we come back in here, now the uh, level will not go down at all. In fact, I should probably uncheck that real quick. So yeah, so now uh, the, the nothing will affect our, our value essentially. No matter what we do, our number shouldn't go down at all, which it doesn't, so works. 
So there you go. That's that's a quick and dirty way to make an infinite chi code um, or script rather. The only kind of weird thing about this is uh, it hasn't gone back to two two three. But I think if I come back in here and do look at this, yeah, there we go. So it says two two three, and if I go back to the regular game, it should say huh, still doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. If that doesn't doesn't work like I expected, but whatever. Now what we can do is show that in assembler and then we can restore original code that way now with me standing here it should yeah there it goes it goes back to its original you know way of doing things so that's pretty much it uh if you guys have any other questions about this game things that you want to see me do any requests uh please put those in the comments and i will give you my best to uh See if I can find whatever thing you're trying to find. But, you know, honestly, most of the things in this game are pretty easy to find. Um, I don't think anybody... This is a pretty good game to use as kind of a, a learning tool, like a learning game. Because the developers didn't do a whole lot in terms of trying to mask what code is doing what and what variables are in what part of the memory. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty simply program game it seems like and uh, I mean it's a simple game in general I mean this is all I'm doing is pressing one button and everybody dies yay yay everybody dead so anyway thanks for watching guys I appreciate it if you enjoyed this please leave a like comment and if you really like to see more of this type of stuff just uh, subscribe and I will make more but uh, until the next time do me a favor and uh, try not to die <laughs>